Hello students welcome back to the kingdom of birds we shall start our english session with an interesting lesson an autobiography of a great indian bustard before we proceed i would like to ask you a few question are you all interested to know about the birds so tell me have you ever observed the sky yes you must have observed it many times then what do you notice in the sky right we notice the birds the sun and the clouds we know that there are a variety of birds in our surroundings like the peacock the parrot the cuckoo the sparrow and the pigeon each bird has its own unique features so today we are going to study about one such unique bird that is the great indian bustard children have you heard about the great indian bustard i don't think so because it is a rare bird it is found in the indian subcontinent and it looks like an ostrich now let us start this interesting lesson an autobiography of a great indian bustard first i'll explain you the meaning of autobiography the word autobiography is divided into three parts auto means self bio means life and graphy means a story so the word autobiography means the story of one's life in this lesson we are going to read an autobiography of a great indian bustard let us listen his story in its own words now i'll explain the lesson in detail students please keep your textbooks open which is the heaviest flying bird in india well friends it's me the great indian bustard so here our topic starts with a question the great indian bustard is asking us that which is the heaviest flying bird and it is telling us very proudly that it is no one else but he himself it further says i feel proud to be known as the great indian bustard so here the great indian bustard feels very proud to be known as the great indian bustard he is happy because only he is the one who has been entitled as the great indian now he further continues i have more than 30 different names in various indian languages in marathi i am known as maldok or hum so here the great indian bustard is telling us that it is recognized by different names in different parts of india for example children some of us may have an official name as well as a nickname in the same way the great indian bustard is known as maldok or hum in marathi now let us know the physical fitness of this great bird it says that i can weigh up to 18 kilos and can stand up to 4 feet in height reaching up to your shoulders or even higher so this shows that the great indian bustard is a very heavy and a very tall bird and it is telling us that it can reach up to our shoulders or uh, even a little bit higher now let us see how the bird is describing itself it says i have got a long white neck brown wings tall yellow legs and a black cap on my head so children you can see how smart the great indian bustard looks like with his tall legs and a black cap on his head black cap means he does not actually wear a cap but his puffed up hair looks like a black cap now the great indian bustard is telling us about his wife he says that my wife mrs bustard is smaller and slimmer smaller means she is small in size and slimmer means she is very thin than i am and her neck is not white but i have heard humans say that we both look impressive so here the great indian bustard says that the human beings look at us they admire us and they feel that we really look smart and good now let us proceed to the next paragraph in this paragraph 
the great indian bustard is describing its habitat and food habits it says i live on grasslands and deserts along with my other friends including chinkara black buck and lark chinkara and black buck are a kind of species of a deer and children lark is a bird here the great indian bustard is telling us that he lives in areas where there is grass and it can also survive in areas where there is no grass or vegetation that is the desert he does not stay alone but his friends like the chinkara the black bug and the lark also accompany him now coming to the diet of the great indian bustard it says that i eat everything including snakes lizards small fruits and berries and all sorts of insect so here it is describing the type of food that it eats it eats not only insect but also the small fruits and berries that's a very healthy habit but grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items beetles are the insect so the great indian bustard is telling us that it has a healthy diet and at the same time it also advises us to have a balanced diet see children sometimes we are very fussy about the vegetables generally we don't prefer to eat all the vegetables but this is not a good habit we should include all the food items in our diet to remain healthy and strong like the great indian bustard now let us continue with our next paragraph the great indian bustard says when it starts raining we all gather at our favorite grasslands where there are no people to disturb us so here it is telling us that when it rains there is green grass everywhere so all of them collect together in this beautiful grasslands where there is no one to disturb them generally children we see that people come to catch them kill them destroy them so they find such a place where no human being is present now he further continues to say i perform a wonderful dance by gulping air in the special feathery pouch attached below my neck gulping air means to take a lot of air in the mouth and pouch children means a pocket like thing we can say a bag so here we can say that the great indian bustard takes a lot of air and it stores that air in the pouch that is attached below its neck it says this pouch helps me to produce a resonating sound similar to the one produced by the cow resonating means a deep and a clear sound that continues for a long time so here the great indian bustard makes this sound by gulping air in its feathery pouch and this sound is similar to that of a cow further he says that i dance in joy with puffed out feathers puffed out means stretched feathers to spread the feathers and cocked up tail cocked means raised up tail and drop down wings it helps me to impress impress means to attract my soulmate soulmate means a partner or a friend so here the great indian bustard is telling us about his dance he says that it starts dancing with a lot of joy and happiness and what does it do while dancing children it spreads out its feathers and raises its tail and why does he do that he does that to impress that means to attract his partner or friend so here students we have completed the first part of our lesson and the remaining part we shall study in the next lecture so for homework you have to read the lesson thank you